Whoa. <laughs> what is going on there? Yeah, that's going to cause quite a bit of traffic. Oh, man, they're backing up. They are backing up a long way away. Good grief. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. And today, it is all about the details. I want to dive into beautifying what we have in our city and really getting into details and how it can make a big difference to your city build. So in the last episode, we started spreading out here. We've got these, ah, oh, look, all the houses have now been replaced with these lovely eco houses. I absolutely love these models and there's some great details and things going on here. But the yards are just way well open. They do sort of come with fences around them. Here we go, here's a good example, around the back, of course. But sort of down the sides, everything's a bit open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start off by detailing this quadrant here and then we can compare it to the section next to it and see which one looks better with the detail or without the detail. So let's have a look at these houses that we've got down here, the lovely eco buildings. Now these ones here, I would suggest perhaps in real life that they would not necessarily back up against each other i like the space but the garden would stretch out further than this fence at the back now we could use bob that's one of the tools that you need for today's episode along with find it as well and if we click on here with bob let's just go out like this we can see what fences we've got along there which we need to know so that is modern fence one we can see it's highlighted and modern fence two which is the slightly shorter version now if i pick modern fence one you can see it's now selecting it over here as well up the top there over there so if i remove that fence it's gone from all of the assets which means every time i put this asset down i would have to add fences in even in other places in the city where i'm happy to have that fence there so that's a bit of a pain so what i think we're going to do is we're going to flesh out what we've got here um, and then we're going to add maybe along the back here we could add a walkway add some trees something like that i think would work very well so what i'm noticing is the layout of some of these buildings even though the props within them vary let's just show you that if we use the move it mod select that and i've got control r set to uh, randomize the or refresh the asset if i do that you'll notice that the assets within it will change the size of the trees uh, the types of the trees that are being used, the colour on the side of the building there. But the fences always stay the same if we have a look there. That's like the outline of the asset. So there's various versions of this asset. There's one there which is the same, one there which is the same, one here which is the same. So if we set up the fences on one of these, we can then copy that to put in to other versions of that asset as well. Excellent. So what I'm going to do here is, we're just going to open this, we're going to put in here modern fence there we go so we get our modern fences and then oh we're gonna have a auto save quick sip of tea before we dive in and also don't forget to check out bifferplaysmerch.com for your auto save sip of tea merchandise so one other tool you're going to need is prop anarchy uh, version 0.7.5 as of the record in this video that might have changed by now and that gives you these options down here so when we pick the fence that we want to place instead of placing one we can click on the line now we can place a row and then also you want to be aware of the fact that as i go along there it snaps out a whole panel at a time which, you know, it might be difficult to line up exactly where you want it because it snaps out further. We click this button here, toggle fence mode. Now you'll notice it's sliding out and I can get it to exactly the length that I want, which is really good. So we are going to sort of mirror what they've got going on the back here. We're going to go, ah, also we need to put our tree and prop anarchy on. So we're going to bring that out to the corner there and then I'm going to switch to the big fence and then we're going to go down the side with this one because that's the one they've got demarcating their property that side if i go this direction is that the right way to go if i go that way yeah so those little white boards are on the inside and if we line that up right with the edge there and we can come right down and that should be nice and straight and then if we do the same over here yeah the boards are the wrong way around i haven't found a way yet of once i've placed these of easily turning them around so i tend to place it in and then go back and do that excellent so that is now placed in that is now fully fenced in around there and then what we can do using the move it mods open the move it mod click this button here marquee selection and then i want to double click on props so all we're going to grab is props 
there we go so that is now just grabbing the fence parts that we've placed in and you can click there to copy i've got Control c is going to copy and i've got that in my hand so i can now find the other properties that are set up the same so this one here is set up the same so we can line that up and hopefully if i get that right that fence should be lined up near enough near enough right we're not going to get <laughs> we're not going to get perfect and then coming along here we've got this one here so i'm right click to spin that around and then i'm going to try and line it up by this fence that time yep hopefully that's okay looks all right at the back excellent and of course another little tip when you're placing these if you hold the control key it just removes those little circles there and you get a bit of finer granular control for lining it up so that is probably better than it was before yeah excellent Okay, so we're getting there. All of these now have fences all the way around. I think I've got every single one. Already you can see the difference. If I look at these two, these all with fences, these without all the fences in between. So suddenly we're getting a little bit more extra detail on the houses, which is great. I'm enjoying that. So let us see. Now, this is part of the couplet that runs through here. So we're going to want to put a barrier down the back here between the back of their back gardens and the noise that comes down here it's not too bad it's quite a small two-lane road so i'm not going to be overly concerned but i'd like to find a tree that's of a reasonable thickness and size that can help us out that actually might be quite good it's nice and thick it's not too tall and i think it goes well with the color scheme that we've got going on so yeah so i'm gonna grab let's see i feel like we need a fence along here first so yeah, let's grab a fence in here. And I don't think it has to be anything too big. We've sort of got this eco vibe that's going on. So I think a nice wooden fence along here would be okay. So if I do that, what do we reckon? Yeah, I think that'll be okay. So let me just pop this in all the way along. Very good, very good. Add in some cool vibes along the back there. Excellent. And then I'm thinking through the middle here as well. So this is the backs of their gardens. And we've got this section through here. Seems to me like a path would be very good here. We're going for a lot of gravel uh, look around here, which I don't think is too bad. So if we just add in very carefully a gravel path like so... So perhaps this would be where they bring their bins out, all that sort of thing. If we add maybe a little gravel path at the crossroads here. So now we're really adding to the walkability of this area. Let's just grab that node, drag that into the middle. There we go. And then we can bring that out to there. I really wanted that to be a little bit straighter than that. Let's try that again. We'll go there and we'll go there excellent so what i'd like to do is add trees in a slightly different way along here we are going to be using the intersection marking tool and then we're going to select this path that's along here and you know how this works you add rules in put lines in all that sort of thing so we're going to go from one end of this path to the other and then we're going to change the style of the line so at the moment it's saying dashed we're going to change that to tree and then down here we're going to type in this box for young linden and that is going to add that tree along the side there and i think that is probably as far apart as we want it that is excellent so we there's all sorts of adjustments you can make to it but i'm very pleased with that and then we are going to copy that and then we're going to go from here to here on the other side and we're going to paste that in and now we've got young linden on the other side and i think that is an excellent view out the back of here a little bit of privacy with the other side if you're perhaps out here enjoying a barbecue in your garden um, but also we've still got access through here another little tip is you can add this as a preset so when you've already done a road uh, or a path as we have you click on that one so we can see what we've got here we can save as a preset and i've already done that and you just name it linden on gravel path click tick and we're done and then when we click another gravel path go to presets it's already selected tick tick 
done. And that is it. Or you can escape and apply. There we go. If for some reason the tick doesn't work. I don't know what it is. I think it's when I play in 4K. Sometimes the tick doesn't always work. And I'll just do that and apply. There we go. To save you drawing those lines in. So then what I'd like to also add is some trees in between the buildings. So we every now and again we get this gap. So we've got a path that's going to be running through there. But in between each we've got these gaps. And I think if we pick out some nice trees that uh, are similar or match the trees that we've got in here, we should be okay. So let's come out of that view. Uh, let's go into here, add another one. And I'm going to put in generic, boink, and a tree. And we actually do have, let's have a look. We've got a generic green tree. Let's go to single prop placement, which is one of the trees that's in there. We've also got the generic pine tree, which we saw before. Maybe something a little bit more unique for this spot. Ah, here we go. PD Large Evergreen. I think these look fantastic. What are these ones here as well? Oh, small little bushes, which would add a nice bit of detail. Oh, that is a really nice tree as well. What's that one there? Large Smooth Gum. Oh, maybe a couple of those. I'm not too sure. Anyway, we'll see. But I've got my R key set to be a random key in here. So actually what I'd like it to do is just pick between these three. So if I put ever, there we go. Excellent. So now I can use my random key and I can pick some trees. What I'm going to do before I do that is I'm going to actually add in the paths that we haven't got in here yet. So I don't accidentally. There we go. That path is going to go to nowhere but i'm gonna add it in anyway <laughs> there we go just to complete the look and then we've got one over here excellent then when we put the other roads in they'll be good we can add our lindens to those as we go yeah so let's get some extra trees in here as well And then one last thing we want to do is make sure that these buildings don't upgrade and change their shape. I'm not 100% sure whether they will or not in this case, um, but that may happen after you've done a lot of details with the building. So if we just have a look at our district over here, I've got building level control and you can force historical and that will make all buildings in the district historical. And if you do that, so you can do it individually here, a historical building will still level up which is what you want, but it won't change its appearance, which is definitely what we want. So I'm just going to check where this Barlow district goes. So that is just all the eco houses, which is good. So we're going to force historical. There we go. That should have done it. We can just double check. Historical, historical, historical. Excellent. Let's take a look at the finished result. There we go. I think that is looking rather tasty, even if I do say so myself. And you can see the difference, can't you? So this would have been before. Yeah, looking nice, but bare. And this is after. And it makes the world a difference to making the area feel lived in and alive. Now, you might have noticed as we've been building this, we have now a huge residential need, very high demand, a lot of places over here complaining about not enough workers, so we need to help with that. And also, I need to beautify all of these other areas over here as well, so they all look the same. We can see over here, whoop, boink, I was doing a little bit of a practice before I recorded, and I've got some different trees in there. <laughs> but I'm going to go through this area now and, yeah, beautify these four residential areas, and then we'll get to expanding as well. I'll do it off camera because you've just seen me do it all once. So now we're going to go from the city looking like this to like this. There we go. So we've extended the houses out this way, added some more along this side as well. We were at 1,400, I think, people before. Oh, is that another autosave sip of tea? No, it's not. Well, I'm going to have one anyway in celebration of hitting Boomtown. So up past 2,000 population, fantastic. Extra square, airport area, transport. So these are the things that I want to start looking at and our post services 
Ooh, lots of other things available to us. Roads of all sorts of descriptions. Excellent, very good. And then some of these that the people are going to be crying out for. Cemetery and stuff like that. So we need to keep an eye on that. Okay, cool. Right, so... Now that we're over 2,000, hopefully with that many people, there's going to be enough people to work here. Yep, yeah, the complaints are going down. That is nice. Uh, there's a little change we need to make over here because this road's connected up there, which has now sort of messed up how that one's going to connect. So maybe if I get that, let's pop all of these back on. And can I just bring that in as a nice curve there? Yep, yeah, that works fine. Excellent. That's a traffic light on there. We'll go with that. There's lots of traffic lights around here, actually. We need to probably go through. Yeah, I'm going to turn these off. So we don't need traffic lights along here for these connections. Um, this one's got to go straight through anyway. That's okay. That's okay. We'll turn it off. Um, I'll leave a traffic light there because these two big roads coming in to each other. Oh, we're lacking power. We'll take a quick look at that. Let's pause the game. Let's turn those off, those off. This one, I'm going to just leave it off and keep it going. And hopefully that will be okay. There we go. Let's take a look at our power. Don't want any of our buildings to disappear. Oh, okay. We're not too far off the course of what we need. So at the moment, it's just going to be another one of these. So we're going to pop that in. Let's have a look at what that takes us up to power-wise, because it might be we can drop our budget down again just to save a little bit of moolah. How's our water going? Yeah, while we're here, we'll up our water. Let's make that 75, make our power. Let's just go straight up to 90. There we go. That'll keep us going for a while. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, I would like to add in some transportation through here. And now we've also got access to our cemetery. They're going to be crying out for that. Where would be a good spot for that? So we're heading here over towards the sea. We've got this hill here, which I'd like to work with the terrain on this. So I'm thinking this road needs to sort of skirt around here, which unfortunately means we're possibly gonna lose a house along the end here so if i do this and bring it round mm, let's have a look something like that space already occupied and we're going to take that out i'm trying to keep to these lower three yeah like that so we're keeping into the hillside which does mean then we're going to have to lose this house on the end so let's use the move it mod uh turn off nodes and segments and i'm going to, going to just grab everything there and delete that there we go darn it maybe shouldn't have deleted everything because i've deleted the fence <laughs> and all the stuff down the side let me just pop that back in again there we go we've got that back in there i'd also like to connect up uh, this path along the back so in fact yeah, if I connect that up to there, all those tree things are going to disappear, I think. So if I do that, grab our Move It mod. Uh, but, oh, no, it's okay. It's still there. And in fact, I'm going to continue that along the back here, and then we'll curve that round. I'm just actually wondering whether we can... Do we have a park small enough that's going to fit into that slot? So that is... Which is our smallest one? This one here. No, nah, not small enough. That's okay. We'll make use of this path here. And I'm just going to curve that round. There we go. Just for the look. And then I'm going to use this tool here again just to add these presets on. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. And then because this is a larger road along the back here, I'm just thinking, do we need another exit out there? Because we could bring this and curve this around to just clip into there to give us another access out of this side and then maybe we could have a little park in this section here that could be quite good so let's take a look at so the small dog park will fit that is just a bit too oh man that one is pretty close let's pop that one in and see whether a bit of move it we can get that one to hook in okay that one's all right there very nice and then next to that i think we could then have a little dog park right opposite there that fits in nicely and then also i want to check because we've got a lot of things being added in here now our schools so elementary school yeah high school we don't have yet which I've, it's now been added isn't it so let's add another elementary school um i want to go with the community school 
And maybe we could do a little something along the back here. If this road continues along, it's going to leave like an odd shape over here. So let's grab that. And we do that. So we followed the terrain around there, which is good. And now we've got this shape here, which we could use to add in a nice little complex um, of schools. And we've got our cemetery and things like that, which is going to help everybody as well. Here's all the new people moving in. Excellent. I'll tell you what we want to do here. It's because we want to keep... Oh, they are keeping moving. Mm, if we do that and say just go straight through, that could be better. It's probably people crossing over the road. Yeah, there we go. Keep them moving. That's good. Oh, man, they're backing up. They are backing up a long way away. Good grief. All the way down there. <laughs> What's our traffic at? 64%. Yeah, that always happens when we put a whole load of new houses in. Uh, just here, I want to just change this. Uh, I'm going to say, get that there. You go through. So you've got a lane each to go through. Don't stop. Keep moving. And then you've got other lanes where you can change. And yeah, that's going to cause quite a bit of traffic. But that's just tough for now okay so we can see some deaths happening over the back there so let's add in our cemetery and i'd like to have it sort of set back uh from the road if possible we've got this one here a funeral home so a mid-century modern inspired funeral home with high coverage and more hearses so these are made by revo and uh these are available on the steam workshop and this one here got a clinic we have an elementary school we have a fire station a funeral home and a sheriff's office and they're all within the theme of the mid-century modern pack which is fantastic so i'd like to have these set back off of the road here i'm thinking we're going to make an access through here let's grab a smaller 2u road that we could use through here two lane with median yeah i think that'll be actually we've got the one with the wide sidewalks i think that'd be a good idea so let's maybe just sort of bring that in and then run that along the front to there and then we can also just sort of bring it that way i don't want it to connect which is fine and then we'll grab that and i think if we place that up against there we'll get a nice bonus effect which is good and a nice looking building as well we get some choices here so we've got the standard hearse commoner's van or luxury hearse why don't we go for the luxury hearse i'm guessing that one will still go out anyway but any more that need to go out there we go nice luxury hearse fantastic and then we can do a little bit of detailing down there as well and of course we've got these parking lots uh, that we can use some of these are quite large let's have a look that is actually the size of the funeral home let's maybe go for something a little bit smaller and what i'd like to do is turn it around so it goes that way instead so let's get a one new road uh, nothing with trees on so we'll just go with this one here yeah, there we go. I think that's okay. So we've got a little bit of extra parking under cover. We've got the open park in there, which is fine. And we can just sort of add a couple of trees uh, along here as well, just to smarten that up. Don't want to block the parking, so that'd be okay. I feel like we need some asphalt across there. So let's grab that as well. Um, I'm not quite sure which one we're going to be using it. So that is an entirely different color from what we've got. Yeah, do you know what? I think I might use this one here asphalt square and we're going to go like that and sort of fill in the parking and we can make that sort of like a bit that you drive up to get into the parking yeah i think that makes sense excellent so we've got that taken care of that's good what else have we got let's remember to turn anarchy off before it causes any problems um so then we've got our school we're definitely going to need the school in here aren't we so elementary yeah we're well down so it's not filled up yet, but definitely lots eligible. So what has this got? 450 uh, in here. So I'm thinking we could possibly place that a little bit further along here. Again, I'm going to grab this one new road. I think I'm going to bring that out up to there. And then we're going to place that up against here. So the parking is around the back and the sloping is all over the place. Whoa. <laughs> what is going on there yeah i think the whole thing here is dropping down isn't it so if we grab all of that and set it to the same height as that one yeah then we'll get a little bit of a, a drop down there but that definitely feel uh, fits in there better um i feel like the parking needs to be the other way if i grab that and switch it around are you going to be happy with that i don't think you are 
Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's pop that in there. And then what I'm going to do is continue this road like that. There we go. So then we'll get the thing happy that it's got a road there. And then once again, I'm going to grab all of that, set it as the same height as this. There we go. And we can maybe smooth it out a little bit there. Yeah, that's probably okay. We'll pop some trees and things in there. But again, a lovely looking building. I like the outside areas that you've got there for sitting and eating i feel like maybe we could just have a little tree or something in there just to sort of help them have a little bit well not that much help them have a little bit of shelter i like this tree that you've got up here maybe we could go with that one yeah i think that's looking good and then we want a little bit of parking a playground oh man we're spending so much money let's keep the game running <laughs> we'll have no money left uh let's pop a small playground we're gonna pop it there so that's connected to the school. Hopefully the electricity will start to jump. Oh, yeah, they're loving that. That is nice. And then maybe just some fencing around there just to keep this sort of separated uh, from everything else as well. Where's my fencing? So if we bring that up to there. So now we've got this whole little section as a playground, which is good. Um, what are we going to put in here? Just so we can get this power to jump across. Let's have a look. So what haven't we used yet? We've got the sheriff's office. We've got the fire station. And we've got the clinic. I think a clinic in here would be good. How much money do we need for that? 15,000. Oh, we're so close. So let's do a little bit of detailing here. And then we'll be able to pop in the clinic. And there we go, 15,000. That is good. So we've got the clinic, and I think we might just... Can I butt that up against there? And then we're going to move that down a bit onto the side. And I think that should be okay. Let's just line that up a bit better. Lovely looking buildings, I have to say. Really, really good. And I'm going to bring this road... Uh, where am I going to bring that road? Am I just going to bring that one out the back and leave it like that? I think I am. Can I get that in the middle? No. So then what we're going to do along the back here is we'll add a nice little row of trees. Uh, let's have a look. These are the ones in a nice theme to go with our theme that we've got going on here. We're going to go round that way and round that way. That is a nice little area, isn't it? And these buildings fit in really, really well. Oh, we can change our vehicle that's coming out of here what have we got so we've got the standard ambulance the fly car ambulance and the large ambulance let's go for the large ambulance there we go excellent schools being used as well cool beans that's good so let's have a look at the land value so not horrendously huge it's slowly going up better down the front here and that's probably down to the fact that we don't have any parks at all in this area here so we have a look at our leisure tab yeah parks and plazas so we've got these ones at the back here public library nothing nothing at all so could we add in public library no we just don't have any money we're just gonna have to wait what are we on we're on 12 percent budget let's have a look yeah probably not much we could do about changing that and i want to add buses so probably yeah just need to let the thing run for a bit traffic back to 86 percent. it's all going well excellent so i'm going to leave the traffic lights on here because i'm assuming that children are going to be crossing over quite a lot um also we could aid in the walking of the children from this area by connecting this up so if we just grab this in here let's turn off actually that is almost lined up let's go like that There we go. Very good. I'm hoping they can cross over here with no problems. There should be a node. Yeah, there's a node right there. So I'm just going to move that over. So if they wish, they can cross over there. They can cross over here. Yeah, cross over all over the place. Very good. So we've got a little bit more money. So maybe let's have a look at breaking up this sort of shape that we've got over here now by adding in a park i'm looking at these four squares here thinking these could be removed and add a nice little park in the middle 
Something else I've done as well is added trees down here. Um, I haven't switched them out all the way along. What would be good if, if the picker picker mod, when it picked that, would pick exactly the same and the same tree? So you can upgrade it for both. Unfortunately, it doesn't. And I'm trying to remember what the heck this tree was. Oh, I think I found it. It's the Alder 07 18 meter. That looks like it. So we're going to upgrade these roads down here. Uh, this road I'm going to leave like it is. And then we're going to upgrade these ones through here. And yeah, I think this one around the outside we're going to leave like it is as well. So when you come into this... At central area, that is when you get the benefit of all the trees. But apart from that, the main roads are going to stay as they are. Excellent. Okay, we've got a little bit more money. Yeah, cool beans. Okay, so where should we put a park? I'm thinking taking these little houses out here. Sorry, folks, but yeah, I think you're going to go. I really like this small fountain plaza. It only costs 1000 So what we're going to do is we're going to add in three and four has that lined it up accurately it has lined it up accurately excellent then i want to find this decal that we've got down here there we go select decal down here required dlc plazas and promenades and it's going to be one of these oh there we go it's the very first one that i've chosen so i'd like this to line up through here i'm not quite sure that is lining up exactly the same as that one it doesn't look like it does it let's get the move it mod hold control and let's just slightly drag that back like that and how is it over this side yeah that side's okay that side is okay yeah we'll go with that and then i'm hoping that they're the sort of distance apart do you know what i'm going to do actually i'm going to pop them in here like this there we go that's near enough i'm going to drag that all the way to the end get it nice and straight like so then i'm going to use the move it mod to individually grab all of these as a nice big group and then holding control nope that was alt we can then line it up i'm lining it up with the one on the bottom of my screen there we go and then i can grab this one and hold control and line it up with that and if i do the same on here as well and I think that looks really, really nice in there. I just feel like this bit, we need to add a fence. Just sort of demarcate the area that's here. Again, it doesn't have to be a huge, big fence. One of these would be fine. Yeah, something like that. And we want to keep all of this open. We could go for the bollards, which I really like those. If I could spell it. There we go. Excellent. So there's four different ones of these. I don't know whether pedestrian bollard for entering. For en what's that say? For entering and exiting. Exiting. Okay, so we just want the normal bollard like this. Yeah, there we go. Because this is a road here. I think that's just going to add a little bit more protection, a little bit more detail. And as you can see, the cars are flying up and down this road. There we go like that i think that's good and i feel like i want to add do i want to add another one of these in here or shall we just leave it as it is what's it going to look like mm, if we can get that lined up in the middle like so i think that's going to look really good yeah we'll do that as well There we go. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm just wondering whether we could get a nice focal point of a tree in the middle here as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any planters uh, in this pack yet at the moment. I'm slowly adding things as I think about them, but I'm going to pop in here. Let's have a look. A nice big old tree, uh, which is going to be one of the... Not I like that one there. We're going to add in that one there. I think just sort of adds to the central section so i'm not sure that's going to necessarily increase the land value a huge amount but as we get there as we add more things that's definitely going to help and then this area through the middle here we've got a lot of a lot of open space down the side here which i'm feeling like i want to do something with also we've got these little spots against this side road which i think you know if we fill those in let's just take that out there there we go like these ones we could get a couple more buildings in there which i think will fit in okay and then maybe these little gaps here we could pop some parks in 
Yeah, we've got these little small food truck plazas and things like that, which actually fit in here, I think, really well. Um, we could do that and then just sort of line it up. Actually, we could do that and we could like... Whoa, whoa, jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Come on now, game. Come on. We could do that and then we could line it right up with this. And then it's okay if it's got the tree there behind the truck. That could be good. And then we can sort of go down here and use a few of these different plazas. So then we've got small ice cream stand. Oh, yeah, we need to turn on zoning, don't we? Even just a little bit like that helps. Let's just do either side. As long as we don't manually zone it, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah, we'll do that all the way along there. So maybe we could sort of alternate these instead. Oh, we've unlocked another couple over here. The Flower Plaza. That's not the one we've just used, is it? No, because we were using the Fountain Plaza. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get that one in there. And then that is absolutely huge. So how about a couple of Flower Plazas in here? Oh, the money. We are making the money. I'm just thinking whether we want to do something different over here. Then we've got all the other side as well. I don't want them all to look the same. Maybe we'll put some stuff in that we've got now, and then as the game goes on and we unlock uh, some more plazas and things, we can sort of switch them up a bit. Or maybe I'll have a look on the workshop. If you know of any sort of small little plazas or parks this sort of size on the workshop that are pretty good, maybe let me know in the comments below. I'd be really interested. Okay, I'm going to copy those and put them on the other side as well. Tell you what, just adding in a few little trees and bushes around the plazas and these paths, any little gaps that we've got, filling them in, just makes such a difference. If we just look at this little one over here, I mean, it's nice to have a bit of grass, but it doesn't sort of all blend in. But when you look at this one over here, just randomly picking one, it just nicely blends in. And again, I'm using the sort of the random key. I picked a bush, a uh, small size. And yeah, just randomly going along and filling in the spaces and I'm really liking it. I am absolutely loving all the details we're getting into this city so far. Oh, very excited to see what is to come. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. That really helps the channel out. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And then check out the other video on the screen. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.